Hey, good day guys. Welcome to the final of all three tutorial videos that dealt with finding the true length of a line. In the first video, we looked at the revolutionary method. The second tutorial video, we looked at the triangulation method. And now the auxiliary projection method. It is important to note that we are still considering the example where the javelin stick that was thrown pitched into the ground at an angle away from the horizontal plane and also at an angle to the sorry the horizontal plane and at an angle to the vertical plane. Alright, so the vertical plane we have the front elevation and that's the wall. And in the horizontal plane we have the plan view right there on the horizontal plane. Alright, so now we're moving to constructing the true length or finding the true length of this line using the auxiliary projection method. This method is a little longer than the first two, but still very, very useful. And we are going to do so by drawing lines at 90 degrees at point A prime and point B prime. These lines are going to be projected upward. Okay, so I'm just going to move this to get a little bit more space. And so my accuracy will not be messed up. I'm going to line up the set square with line A prime, B prime because the perpendicular line are going to be drawn at those points. Just a little bit more because I need to get to point B prime. Please be careful, take all necessary precaution to ensure, and the time needed also, to ensure that your lines are at perfect 90 degree angles at points A and B. Sorry, A prime and B prime. Now you slide to point A prime. It is okay if it interferes with the line as you can see, but if it doesn't, that is even better. The only difficulty I'm going to have now is that it's going to look a little confusing with the projection lines here, but let's see if we can go past that. Okay, so our next step is to identify now our auxiliary elevation and we're going to use our new x y line which will be labeled x prime y prime and it is going to be now parallel to our line so a prime b prime okay remember parallel to your line a prime b prime is what your new x prime y prime horizontal plane is going to be well won't be horizontal it should be parallel plane so you slide up convenient location of your choice no not from the xy note that correction not from the xy but from the a prime b prime line or plan view of the shadow line or the line drawn at a shadow or based on the shadow of the javelin stick and this right here is our new XY line now I'm just going to darken it a little so that it can be seen even better I'm gonna take it down a little lower because I'm not sure how much space I will need below the title though my work reaching all up in the title that's not gonna look nice and so here is the error and that's our new x prime y prime line and from there we are now going to proceed with identifying our a 2 prime line and our b 2 prime line and how do we do so 
very simple. You're going to use the distance between that point of intersection where our line extended from point A meets our XY line and we're going to label that point 1 um, okay let's go H since I've already drawn this in the wrong direction and we're going to label this point and note it's not the 90 degree location but rather this and this is why I was talking about the conflicting or intersecting lines this 90 de this 90 degree angle right here point where your line extended from B meets your XY line and let's label that G so we are going to use the distance A the distance H A is going to be used as our radius and we're going to have this H represented up here as H prime and G represented up here as G prime and we're going to allow our point A to be located on our line extended from point H prime and at 90 degrees to X, Y, X1, Y1, this line right here, this point of intersection, H1. So our radius H A, our new center H1, and we're going to intersect this with a nice arc right here. And we're going to use now point G as our center, our radius G B. And we're going to use G prime as our center. And we're going to inscribe an arc to meet our line extended from G prime. And these two new points are going to be labeled A2 and on our line G prime B2. Then, as easy as that, our final step, we're going to join point A2 with point B2 and that should be the true length of our javelin stick gathered from the shadows cast on the that is the shadows that have been found on the horizontal plane our plan view and also our vertical plane, our front elevation, as you can see here. Okay, so this is our tutorial session. If you still have any questions or concerns, you can send them to me at AutoCADAlive at Gmail, or you can leave a comment on the video. Uh, I prefer if you send me an email. It's a lot more private, and I can deal with it directly and uh, send the required videos to you. Thank you so much for viewing. Have a great day.